So we've been talking a lot about Columbia today, and my personal kind of Twitter feed and Facebook feed has been blowing up um, with ideas and congratulations to Columbia. So we're so pleased um, to have Monica DeGrief with us, who's been getting messages from colleagues in Havana as I've been sitting with her all morning. So please join us in welcoming and congratulating Columbia. Hello. Thank you very much. And yes, today is a very important day for Colombia. There's a beautiful hashtag. Today it's the first day of the end of the war. And I think not only beautiful, but emotional for us that we really are in peace. I was working in the Chamber of Commerce, we have 650,000 small companies, small to big companies registered in our chamber. By law, it's an obligation that they register in a chamber of commerce. 650 companies, which 91% are small to medium companies, and they were asking during this whole process, four years of negotiation uh, of, the, of this uh, peace uh, treaty that it, as we speak, I hope it's going to be, it's being signed in La Habana, they were asking, how can we do something for, the, for peace? It's, do we have a role in the peace process? And fortunately, the SDGs are the bridge exactly that we can build between government that is uh, uh, doing the negotiation. But what we need to do for the next 20 to 30 years, and we do not make the same mistakes that got us in this horrible war for 60 years. So the SDGs, the 17 SDGs, have to do a lot with the private sector, but also with public policies and, of course, with the government. So this is the perfect bridge, and we say that this to the companies and to business. You can help sustainable development. You are helping in building peace. You are helping the country grow up, and if we have our long-term policy is much better than just working on our own and doing whatever uh, we have to do. So this is a huge opportunity uh, to build uh, and to construct policies between the government and the public sector to have a better Colombia, a better democracy, a stronger institutions, and to find opportunity in many places that before we were not able even to go. So we are getting to the market more than 10 million people. It would be a better market for our companies. It would be a better uh, uh, and a better developed uh, country. And we hope that we can attain uh, uh, and we can measure and be accountable regarding the SDGs. One of the things that we have been talking with these companies is first let us, you should measure yourself. You should compare yourself with other companies. We have to work towards all the SDGs and you will help us make public policies and to speak a different language <laughs> with the government. This is a huge opportunity for the companies. Sometimes you know, everywhere government goes one way, the, the public se se sector wants other things. We have to work together. We have to make uh, different uh, policies towards the companies, towards the, the free market, and this is a huge opportunity for us. Peace is not only the peace treaty, the peace that we are signing, the, the weapons and the arms uh, that they are giving in today. Peace is the opportunity to build and develop our country much better. So yes, we have to work, we still have to work together. Business for, for peace, which is in my heart always. Uh, we have been working uh, with the uh, United Nations so we can have uh, guidelines and the best practices of our companies. We are not alone in the world. The companies, no matter how small you are, you have to get the best practices and learn from other companies. Market will be better. We are hoping we develop uh, our companies. They will go from medium to bigger sizes and working together. 
in a peace uh, in, in, in the country, of course, it's much better. So we have public policies, we have better markets, we have trade uh, among, even in our regions that we didn't have before. So this is huge, and thank you very much.